this residency called Interact and Mississippi Creative Arts School. And Interact brings in artists, so community artists, teaching artists, that then work with individual classrooms, grade levels, in order to put on a production. Interact is doing an important residency with Mississippi Creative Arts School this year to incorporate kids and teaching and a very important subject which happens to be deep sea community this year and how we are all working together, how we are all fighting against pollution and trying to clean up our seas and yet still be one unit. It's always so great to have the artists come in and work with our students. And through Interact, the students get to see um, teaching artists that uh, looks like uh, some of our students uh, in, in our school. So they take our students from the uh, stages of creating an idea, right, and uh, getting those ideas out on paper and then taking them through that whole process of um, idea to um, creating props to the final product and then to the performing. The most unique part of this residency, well, there isn't anything like it um, that we've ever experienced here at school where the artists are so into the kids and every kid is a star no matter how they offer or what they offer as far as their talent and their ability and that they rise up and performance day everything comes together. Each person is a part of the team. Um, Interact has thought of every single piece from taxis to get families here, from a family meal to feed everyone after we're done celebrating. Um, they have disabled individuals working with our children and actually teachers of our kids and so every single person is included in this process. It is so diverse um, and really gives kids a chance to shine. We have been learning a song called You and Me and Our Deep Sea Community and another one and we are acting as um, uh, fishes and helping the sea. So we just made ideas. So Kat told us like we're gonna like each time we're gonna start off with once there was and then we have to add like sea creatures and then we have to like rhyme it with the other ones. Sea community. Something ripped on. Oh. Remember guys? I think what's unique about this community is the fact that the teachers, um, the administration really embrace your individual self, uh, whether that means your language, whether that means your ethnicity, whether that means um, arts and, and you know culture in general. And so each student uh, can allow to bring that to the table and go, I really enjoy this or I really um, I really want to use um, you know this language or sign or Spanish or anything like that that really brings out this piece to life. Three, three of you, come over here. It's it's a collaboration between um, like uh, myself as a teaching artist, um, uh, teaching theater in between bracket, and uh, working with uh, Peyton, who is a visual artist. So Peyton uh, teach the the kids how to to prepare our set, and we were working as uh, partners uh, in this project, uh, myself and Peyton, and then the students, uh, and how to use uh, the props and, and create the set together, and we can, these elements could help us to build the show. So it was like uh, a real process of a production, and it's a mini production with these uh, little uh, students, and it's uh, amazing. I wish I was a fit. Instruct the kids on how to first design their names so that they understand the process and the medium of spray paint, which we use a water-based acrylic spray paint, which allows us to paint, paint indoors. And so we first go through a name making process and I personalize it to them by using their names. From there, we go and design the theme of this year's performance. So they can design the letters, uh, use color theory, spray paint design, 
uh, collage, uh, coloring and layering uh, to put all those together. Cut your fish character out, okay, and then throw you back in. Okay. Right. Here we go, it's gonna be right here. We've been making stuff for like, stuff that we can put on that help us get ready for the show. And we've been like singing songs and practicing. Because we had to uh, put on paper mache on the fish, so we could have the fish ready. And we missed five days, so we had to really get into it. Yeah, so these kids are extra special. Um, this is our developmental delayed classroom, DCD. Um, so all my kids have a lot of abilities. Um, some of my kids are nonverbal. Um, and they just sometimes take a little extra time to get things done and their brains just sometimes do things a little differently. My favorite part I do think is just having my kids incorporated. I think that they like love art, they love to dance, um, so to be a part of it is awesome for those kids. We also had an artist, um, Mr. Jeff. They really, really love working with him, and he did a great job of um, kind of explaining with visuals and using his body to explain things, and that really works really well with my kids having visuals. So he did awesome with the kids. Uh, uh, stretch through the arms. Mm -hmm. you have to I think the single most unique thing that happens during the residency with Interact is you get to watch the adults the, the Interact um, artists really come alive and do something that they're not used to doing every day, which is teaching. You know, they're the ones being taught usually every day or being shown something, and they get to step into that opposite role of actually teaching and leading, and it's very magical. Good. Yeah, good. keep up the good my, work. You know, my favorite part about doing this residency is, is seeing their the kids' faces, you know, you know, putting a smile on their face, you know. You know, if the kids, you know, you know, bit bored, you know, you know, and they, they come out of their, their comfort zone just to see them, you know, they feel a smile on their face. I help the kids with the arts and the theater. They've been cutting, um, like, props, like fishes and sharks and stuff. I'm a professional interact, prof you know, kind of interact professional Actress, I love teaching the school. Oh my God, Simon, is this? Oh, this. And the body, I made. I'm kind of nervous with them about the performance today um, because they're nervous and so it makes me a little nervous but I'm also super um, excited because they're also excited and nervous um, and I know from being in theater in my past how that's like really tied together but can really make an awesome performance so um, I can't wait to see them do this and um, like just that pride the pride that they get from it. The privilege of having four teachers in a class that have their own individual artists and, and art to bring to the table is fantastic. Uh, also learning how to navigate all four of these art and mediums into one is also very fascinating. Yeah, I would definitely recommend it. I think, um, you know, I was a little nervous to do it, I'm not gonna lie, because, you know, you, these are my vulnerable students, so you wanna make sure that they're being well taken care of. But I think Interact did an awesome job of working with me and kind of seeing, you know, what they needed to do to make my students feel comfortable, and I think they did that. So I would really recommend special ed teachers to kind of be open to it, and because I think at the end of the day, it really, really benefited my students to be a part of the art in the movement. I keep telling, you know, anybody that I, I meet up to say, uh, the reason why Interact comes back is because, number one, uh, they bring artists that represents the students that are in the classroom. The students can see themselves 
uh, um, reflected in who the artists are. And because of the, the, the diversity of artists that uh, Interact has, our students are able to not only grow as individuals um, and uh, become more empowered in who they are, but they also see uh, and, and develop um, true empathy for uh, people from all walks of life. Um, it makes me feel good because I always wanted to sing. Um, I like Interact extremely a lot. Sing.